Raleigh Cavero. I am a freshman at Yale University. I'm currently on the pre-medical track, uh, considering a major in film or history. The campus itself is fairly large uh, for the university as a whole, but for the undergraduates, uh, the campus is fairly self-contained. Um, and it's also very uh, centralized and focused uh, around old campus and cross campus, um, two of the main quads. And so um, it brings a really nice community atmosphere to the undergraduate campus and makes it feel much smaller than it actually is. Um, so you can always uh, be sure that when you're walking to class or walking to a meeting at night, you'll almost always see someone you know. Within the campus, I would say most people walk. Um, bikes are also a really common mode of transportation, um, especially for science students who have to travel up Science Hill, um, which is about a 20 minute walk. So bikes can come in very handy if you're planning on taking a lot of math and science courses. Buses also run um, on a fairly consistent schedule. Uh, especially, again, for science students, um, buses can be very helpful when traveling around campus. Uh, to get outside of campus, there are lots of different options as far as transportation goes. Uh, there are trains that go to New York City, Boston, um, almost any nearby major city you could ask for. Um, of course, taxis are always available, though it's difficult to flag one down right on campus. Um, Yale also does a really good job of uh, providing many transportation options that are reliable to undergraduates. Um, they'll make lists available with numbers and contact information of um, good shuttle services, especially for undergrads going to and from the airports in New York City. Um, so I've taken advantage of those every time that I've gone uh, back and forth, um, flying back to Missouri in the central United States. Uh, for breaks and holidays. Every day walking around campus uh, it's amazing how you can feel at home uh, and at the same time completely in awe of your surroundings. It's just really an interesting experience to be in the midst of all of that history um, and you really feel it uh, especially I'm in um, one of the residential colleges called Saybrook. Saybrook is uh, gothic style um, architecture and so um, you live in this heavy stone structure with these uh, stained glass windows and it's just a really beautiful, um, just awe-inspiring environment to be in. But that's one of my favorite things about the campus. My favorite building is definitely Sterling Library. It is gorgeous. Um, it was originally constructed uh, in cathedral style. So you walk in and you feel as though you're walking into the nave of a cathedral. It has uh, soaring ceilings and uh, big reading rooms with leather couches and um, huge wood paneled uh, reading tables. And um, the entire thing is just, it's a very stereotypical Ivy League area. And that beauty is also very helpful when you're having a really long day of studying. Um, the food on campus is amazing. Um, they have an incredible variety of food, uh, very high quality as well. Um, you can eat in any one of the 12 residential college uh, dining halls. Um, and you can also use your meal swipes at a variety of to-go um, options. So uh, it's very, very quick and easy to get um, almost any kind of food that you could want on campus. Of course, there's also food carts. Um, I know they have a Middle Eastern food cart and a cart that sells kettle corn and fun little things like that um, if you need to pick me up snack in the afternoon. Getting food on campus is also very flexible because they offer many different options for meal plans. Um, you can choose one which provides a meal, varying amount of meals in the dining halls as well as um, surrounding restaurants and coffee, stop, coffee shops. Mm -hmm. housing system is very unique and really fosters the formation of tight-knit communities. Uh, they break up the entire campus randomly into 12 residential colleges um, and you live with the people in your class in your residential college all four years. The first year all freshmen live on old campus in buildings specific to their residential college. So I live in Vanderbilt with all of the other freshmen who were housed in Saybrook. Um, and then next year, um, we will all move to Saybrook College proper, which is luckily right across the street, 
Um, for some people, their residential colleges are a little bit farther from old campus. Um, but as sophomores, everybody moves to their own residential college and you live there for the next three years. So it's really nice um, because you're always living with the same people and it really makes it feel like home when you go back to your dorm, which I don't think many college students can say. So that's uh, a very exciting thing about Yale that I think makes the experience all the better. Most students end up staying on campus all four years. Um, there are definitely more advantages to staying on campus than staying off campus. Also, uh, besides the fact that housing tends to be very nice um, and Yale tends to be very accommodating, um, Yale is also the safe, one of the safest parts of New Haven and so um, really if you were to live off campus you would want to live in the Yale area anyway. Yale tends to trust its students' judgment to a certain extent. Um, of course, they still, um, you know, ensure safety on campus and uh, ensure that um, there's a safe learning environment for students, but um, they tend to be lenient as far as curfews and things like that. So there really isn't much incentive to live off campus. Um, I've heard of a few seniors that do so, but most of the time, campus is uh, the main living area for Yale students. There are definitely many more advantages to staying on campus than off campus. Uh, the housing on campus is, first of all, beautiful. Um, I actually got a single first year, so I don't have a roommate. I'm filming this in my room, um, although I live in a suite of eight girls. So that's a really nice balance of privacy and also having um, uh, sense of home and community. Uh, the housing on campus is first of all beautiful. Um, I actually got a single first year so I don't have a roommate. I'm filming this in my room um, although I live in a suite of eight girls so that's a really nice balance of privacy and also having um, a sense of home and community. Um, we've really bonded as a suite. Um, we you know plan outings together. Uh, it's been a really fantastic experience and um, living on old campus just in general has been really nice. The administration also does a great job of um, surveying students for housing and pairing them with other students who uh, will live well with them. Um, so they look at things like when you go to sleep, um, down to what kind of music you like. Um, they take all of these things into consideration when they're pairing you with your roommates so that um, they know that you'll have a really positive experience whenever you're living together. Um, and for me, it's really worked out very well. Um, we all have very similar study schedules, sleep schedules. We also have very similar approaches to a social life and, you know, when we like to have our room uh, loud and when we like, like to have it quiet. So um, that's been really nice, and I know that um, that's generally the case uh, as far as roommate pairing goes. Um, so that's another really nice thing about the housing experience. Mm -hmm. overall experience at Yale, uh, just for this first semester, has been absolutely fantastic. Um, I really couldn't imagine a better environment to be in. Everything here is the best of the best. Uh, the academics, the people, the buildings, the facilities. Um, and when I say the best of the best, I don't necessarily mean that they're the best in the world. Um, even though they are, uh, what matters to me is that they're the best because they are the most passionate about what they do. Um, that's something that I've really found about the people here. There's just a sense of community and um, excitement here that um, is very unique uh, and something I didn't find at any of the, of the other colleges I visited. The strengths here definitely lie in the academics and the social environment. Um, and also in the, uh, in the social network that they build for you. Um, they make sure that you have lots of people to go to within the administration if you find, you, find yourself needing some guidance. Um, they have freshman counselors who are seniors that live in um, old campus with you as freshmen um, who are just there to guide you and you know, advise you in any personal, academic um, problems that you could ever have. 
Um, they also have residential college masters and deans, um, both of whom are ready and available for you uh, to contact if you need help. And they always are hosting um, study breaks and parties and um, lots of social events to really get you bonded with the other students in your college and also with the administrators in your college. One other great thing I've found about the administration is that uh, the masters of the residential colleges will actually eat lunch in the dining halls with the students. So I've had lunch with uh, Master Hudak, Saybrook's master, many times, and he'll ask you how your classes are going, and he'll tell you about um, the work that he's doing, and it's just a really, um, it's just a really uh, agreeable atmosphere to be in. I would also say that financial aid is one of Yale's strong points. Um, if that's a consideration for you, uh, do not let the price tag um, on Yale's tuition uh, turn you away from applying. Um, I will say myself that uh, I heard that many, I heard that same statement many times from many students and never believed it, but it's true. Um, I, I was, I almost didn't apply here because I was afraid that um, at the end of the day, I wouldn't be able to uh, be able to come here um, for financial reasons. But the financial aid office is absolutely amazing, and when they say that they'll meet 100% of your financial need, it's true, um, which is something that other colleges, again, have not fulfilled uh, in my experience. So um, don't let that deter you. Um, and um, I, I think that's another great selling point is that they really make a Yale education available to everyone. Um, and so this isn't just uh, an institution for the elite of um, society. It's an institution for people who want to learn and who are passionate about something and are willing to work for that. Um, and they make sure financially that that's an option for them. If I could describe this university in three words, they would be passionate, creative, and excellent. Um, many of the people here Actually, I would say almost all of the people here are passionate about something. Um, and that's why they're here, is to pursue their passion. Um, people here are also endlessly creative. Um, even, even things that you usually wouldn't think of being creative, like uh, computer programming, um, are made creative by the people who do them. Um, one of my friends is uh, working on computer programs uh, to improve ambulance efficiency in cities and it's just uh, really interesting the way that people are so innovative in what they're interested in um, and then because they're so passionate and creative um, they also uh, look to be excellent in whatever they pursue and that's something that's really exciting and it's really palpable in the atmosphere here. Uh, Yale is definitely one of the most international schools um, in the United States um, just within my suite, uh, I have someone who was born in India, someone who was born in Paris, and um, a girl who lives in Canada. Um, and that's just within my eight-person suite. Um, you will meet people from every corner of the globe. Um, and it's very exciting uh, to be able to learn from all of their different perspectives and um, see see the world the way they see it, which you don't expect it to be so different, but the cultures make it different. And that's really exciting and um, a unique opportunity that I don't think you get um, at many colleges. One of the most rewarding experiences I've had since being here was um, being the videographer for a 10 minute movie um, for Film Club. Uh, I'm very interested in broadcast journalism and film and so it, that was a very rewarding experience to be able to work on a movie set um, with other students and um, do a lot of independent camera work uh, that I hadn't been able to do very much in high school. One of the most challenging experiences I've had here was um, taking an introductory level calculus class. I had never taken calculus before um, and I will say that um, if you're looking to take introductory level um, math courses uh, they are some of the more difficult courses here um, because they are some of the very very select few courses that are taught um, sometimes by graduate students. Mm -hmm.
Yale is best known for its drama, uh, extracurricular activities, uh, print journalism, uh, the Yale Daily News, um, which was one of the first established college newspapers in the country. So um, that's a very uh, established extracurricular that is really, really engaging. Almost any cultural activity that you could want is available at Yale. Uh, we have everything from yoga to uh, Asian Film Society, and if the club isn't present now, you can start it. Um, Yale's administration is very, very open to new ideas and new clubs, so um, cultural activities are definitely a very large part of campus life, and they're something that's very, very easy to get involved in and to um, become an active member in. It's also very independent. Um, all of the clubs are student-run, um, student-organized, and um, we tend to be very self-motivating in our projects. I got very involved in film club first semester, uh, which was a really rewarding experience. I had had experience in high school with broadcast journalism, and so um, I got to bring that with me to the club and um, use that to uh, get a position as a videographer on one film, um, a sound designer on two other films. So that's been the majority of my extracurricular experiences this semester, and it's been very rewarding. From my experiences with Film Club, I've learned that I really enjoy film, um, but that I also want to pursue broadcast journalism as opposed to film, so I'm hoping to get involved with the Yale Daily News next semester, which as I mentioned before is one of the biggest extracurricular activities on campus and um, one of the most successful organizations as well. Yale College plans many, many trips to uh, neighboring cities like New York and Boston, um, and also uh, extracurricular trips, um, like for uh, the Hispanic Cultural Organization or for Ski Club. Um, I had lots of friends that went on trips like this. I never attended many um, because I was involved with extracurriculars on the weekends, but um, I would definitely recommend um, going to one of the trips in Vermont. Um, the Saybrook College Master uh, planned a trip to his uh, ski house in Vermont. The social events on weekends are about as varied as the people that come here. Um, you can do anything from attending cultural events to uh, the many campus-wide uh, events that occur throughout the year that are planned by the Yale College Council. Um, you can attend um, parties in the Greek system. Uh, you can, you know, attend parties at your friend's suites. Um, there are an incredible variety of social options on the weekends uh, that are available. Also film screenings, uh, which I'm personally interested in, are also fun to attend. The fraternity and sorority scene is present here, but um, it's not necessarily the norm to pledge uh, a sorority or fraternity. Um, they're definitely a big part of the um, party scene on the weekends, but it's not a very vocal presence on campus, to be sure. Also, the residential college system creates such a sense of community that it's really not necessary to go looking for a fraternity or sorority to find that sense of home. Um, that I think is really a draw for students at many other colleges to join the Greek system. Yale has uh, differing levels of commitment to athletics uh, from varsity, which is very intense commitment and we have fantastic varsity teams, all the way down to intramural sports, which are simply um, completely inexperienced students getting together to play recreational games um, and those are organized by other students um, and so uh, the varsity level is obviously um, involving recruitment and very very intense involves traveling and tournaments and things of this nature um, club sports are somewhere in the middle and so generally students that inv are involved in club sports will have had some experience but don't necessarily want to participate at the varsity level um, for intramural sports, um, that's simply recreational. Um, students from one college will play against students from another college, and it's purely for fun. I personally have not played any sports here. Um, I dance ballet, and so um, I'm going to continue taking classes next semester with that. I applied to 10 schools um, during my application process. Uh, my top choices were Yale, Stanford, 
uh, Washington University in St. Louis and a small liberal arts school in Minnesota. I was um, debating between Washington University in St. Louis and Yale University um, because finances were also a big factor for me and um, both of those schools offered me good financial aid packages. Um, however, the atmosphere at Yale and that sense of enthusiasm um, really attracted me and so that's what brought me here this year. The main reasons that I chose Yale were, uh, first of all, the um, incredibly accepting and fun social environment. Um, I felt as soon as I stepped on campus that I fit in and that I would be accepted and I could thrive here, um, which is something special and um, that's a big reason why I chose Yale. Applying to college, I had a 4.99 GPA on a 4.0 scale, so my GPA was weighted. I took um, honors classes and international baccalaureate courses, which were weighted at my high school. Um, and I had a 35 on my ACT, the standardized testing in the United States. In high school, I was very interested in broadcast journalism and dance, um, both of which I'm pursuing here. Though broadcast journalism I'm pursuing more heavily because I um, think I would like to consider doing that um, as a career. My admissions counselor wrote on the bottom of my acceptance letter that she was impressed by my passion for broadcast journalism. Um, and this is advice that I would give to anyone applying, is don't try to fit into the standard model student that you think they're looking for. Just be yourself and show them what you're passionate about and what you're interested in and what you want to do in the world. Um, and that's the best advice that I can give anyone applying.